This 58-year-old lady has difficulty in using her hands. We are asking the students to examine her hands and they should assess the hand function. The findings are she, got, she has got a very tight skin here. She got uh, some calcinosis. Uh, you can see very closely if you look she has got some telangiectasia. And uh, can you roll? Yeah. There's a, a very nice spot of calci calcinosis here. And uh, she also may have some still injectasia here. And she has lost the pulp of the finger here. Uh, the hand function can be done by using the root, routine rheumatological examination. And also looking for things like trying to open her on all these screw tops bottles. Can you open that for us, please? Mm. Uh, difficult. That's okay. Difficult. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Again, when you look at her face, her face, uh, the skin is very tight. Again, she has some telangiectasia here. Are you open the mouth? Okay. Are you able to put three fingers in your mouth? How many can you put? Uh, oh, sure. Maybe two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And she also has some tightening of the skin in the chest here. We won't be asking the students to take a history. But if they had to take a history, they should be asking for uh, what happens to her hands when she goes out in the cold, looking for Raynaud syndrome, difficulty in swallowing, and also asking history regarding pulmonary fibrosis. That will be a very excellent uh, assessment if they do all those things. Hi, Judy. Hello. My name is Kylie. Hi, Kylie. I'm aware you have some difficulty using your hands. Is it okay if I have a look at your hands today? Certainly, yes. Thank you. I just want to have a feel of your wrists and your hand joints. Are you in any mm -hmm. pain at the moment? No, not at all. Just flip your hands over. Mm -hmm. Can I get you to close your fingers for me? That's as far as I can go. Thank you. On this side. Not very far. Yeah. Now I'm just going to move your hands and joints. Mm -hmm. Just try to relax for me. Mm -hmm.
Thank you. Um, could you put your hands out in front of you like that mm -hmm. and try to bend your wrists down as far as you can? That's as far as I can go. And up. Oh. Trying to keep your uh, hands straight. Yeah. Thank you. And could you move it side to side, your hands? Okay. <coughs> like that? Like that. Not much. Thank you. And could I get you to squeeze my finger mm -hmm. as hard as you can? And put your hands in a fist if you can for me, please. As hard as much as I can do. And stretch your fingers out as much as you can, as straight as you can. And together. I'll just get you to point your, ha your thumbs towards the ceiling like that, mm -hmm. if you can. And don't let me push them down. Mm -hmm. And now I'll push down towards my fingers. And push out if you can with your thumb. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And can you do this for me, make a pincer grip? Uh, sort of, yeah. And hold, try and hold the grip. Okay. Don't let me pull it through. And with your pinky as well, oh. your thumb and pinky. No, can't do that no. one. Okay. Are you able to flex your fingers at all? And this hand? This hand's not so oh. good. And could I get you to do this with your hand if you can? No. Or the other way? Okay. Thank you. And um, if I can, could I please get you to open this jar for me? Mm hmm. Sometimes I can, but it's a bit tight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Is there anything else you would like to do? Um, I'd like to have a look at the face. Okay, and then, yeah. Could you open your mouth for me as wide as you can? Thank you. I'm just feeling for any thickening of the skin on the chest. Okay, that's good. Would Thank you like you. to tell us what you think is wrong with this lady and your assessment of her hand function, please? Um, I think the lady has scleroderma. Mm -hmm. um, and the hands are very stiff mm -hmm. with thickened skin and loss of movement in nearly all the joints, mm -hmm. um, especially the DIP and PIP joints. Mm -hmm. um, wrist movement is also reduced. Mm -hmm. Um, from the inspection, I can see the skin is very thickened and there are some areas of ulceration and calcinosis yes. um, over some of the joints. Um, she has some weakness as well um, and she's got... Um, her facial skin is also affected okay. and mm. her neck skin. Mm. So what's the diagnosis then? Scleroderma or...? Um, perhaps systemic sclerosis. Mm -hmm. So if you have time, what, would you ask her any more history? If you think it's serious scler scleroderma? Um, I would ask about um, Crest syndrome. Mm -hmm. um, so whether she has Raynaud's in mm -hmm. her hands, mm -hmm. um, esophageal problems. Um, Okay, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, okay.
This student did a very good examination. She was asked to examine the hand and the hand function. She did a very detailed examination of the hand function. Then she went on and looked at the skin and picked up the sclerodactyly. She found the calcinosis. She also looked at the face and the mouth. So overall, I think she did extremely well. Um, I think her level of performance is uh, almost four out of four. I was extremely happy with that presentation today. Thank you.